Hey you witches, it's Taya, and today I wanted to share with you my witchy planner for 2021. I just finished kind of getting it all set up. It's not quite filled out, but it's all set up for you. Now the first thing you need to know is I am a black and gray girl. I'm super simple. I don't do a ton of like fancy, you know, jewelry and shininess, but when it comes to my planner, the blingier, the better. Whoops, the kitty cat is here playing with some Lego. Um, the bigger the better, the shinier the better. Um, so I got these beautiful rose gold discs. I am a disc planner girl. This is from the Happy Planner and their rose gold shiny cover. And when you get inside, sorry, it's, I'm just keeping it nice and close so you can see what's in here. I've got three different sections. Today, voice and spirit. So today is like my catch-all planner. It's where everything goes. Um, voice is where I share my voice. So it's my social media. Mostly my YouTube. And then Spirit is all my witchy stuff. But my witchy stuff permeates everything. So I've actually created most of what you see here myself. This is a vellum that I, um, I just printed on vellum. And we have this lovely cover. And this is my catch-all planner. So hey, this is Treva. That's my Monday name, Treva. And at the beginning, there are some calendars. And here I've been tracking all of my YouTube uploads and my YouTube subscriber count. This will be moving to the voice section, to that voice section in, um, in January, January 1st, which is coming up next week. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use these pages now to track stuff like when's the last time I watered the plants? When's the last time I washed my hair? When's the last time I fluffed my teeth? All that stuff that maybe doesn't happen every single day, but I want to keep track of when it happened. When did I change the furnace filter last? All that kind of stuff. And then we get into like December. So we have like a monthly and we like plan out our monthly spread. And I'll just, here's just a few little walkthrough of what I've got going on for December. Some fun like spreads that I've done. And then uh, this brings us up to this week, which is Christmas. And then that's today. So this is where the today tab flips right into, is into today's catch-all planner. And then this is my spread for next week. I kind of forgot that it was going to be uh, New Year's Eve, which I was going to do a whole black and gold thing. And this is, uh, my children got me a bunch of planner stuff for Christmas and all of this beautiful blue washi. So I used all of my Christmas gifts to decorate up this page here. So I just need to go through and fill out. I usually do my tasks, my daily tasks across the top or my to do's. Um, appointments go at the bottom of this top box. Then I have a list of daily um, chores that I do around the house. And then down here I track astrology and meals in this bottom section. You'll see on the side, it's kind of blank. In previous weeks, you can see where I had this all filled out. I do a week ahead reading. So I do, I pull um, from my Oracle deck, past, present, future, far future, and then an overall card. And then I interpret it out. I actually write out what that means for the week ahead. So we've got that ready to go here. I do that on Sundays when I plan out my week. Um, and then we just get in and then the next one will be January. So January hasn't been planned yet. It's all blank. This is what the pages look like before they get planned out. And then we just have a section of notes. This is my note section and another vellum. I love vellum. So I just printed out, I found this online, this beautiful esoteric kind of alchemical looking guy. And then I just have a bunch of notes, including my 2021 goals. Once I'm done filling out this guy, I'll put that back closer to the beginning of my planner. So it's kind of right up at the front at the beginning. And then we get to my voice planner. So this is my social media. I don't use happy planner inserts. I haven't for the voice and the spirit section. I used printables from a company called Squared Plans. Um, she's a YouTuber and she has made these beautiful, super simple inserts. I wasn't able to find inserts from Happy Planner that I liked. So this belongs to Taya. You guys know me as Taya. This is my voice, my YouTube. So just have an overall. And then here, those stats from the beginning, I'm going to start tracking them in here now in my actual voice section starting in January. So my YouTube upload and then... Um, my tracking my numbers of subscribers will happen there and then we get into January so this is um, it's a dashboard layout 
So over here, I've got to do's and ideas. So basically, as I'm watching other people's videos, or I'm surfing my social media, and I see, you know, people are asking a lot of the same questions. Mm, that's a good idea. Just do a video on that. Or I see somebody, you know, and they're like, hashtag whatever, and I'm going to do a response video. I can kind of keep track of those ideas in here, just jot them down. And then once I develop them into a full idea, there's actually a list in my notes section where I can add them in. I track uh, weekly social media stats. And then on this other side here, we've got this week. This is where I'm just putting what days I'm going to upload to. Oh, we missed a page because this whole monthly spread, this is where I put all the details of what I'm going to upload, what it's called, all the details on the videos. So here I just track, okay, yeah, now I know I'm going to have a video on Wednesday. I'll probably write down the title. And then if I want the details, I can just flip back to the monthly the monthly page and get all the details for that video. And then I have Facebook shares and amino shares. So if um, there's like just witchy groups and uh, the, which is, um, what is it called? Oh, I can't remember the name of the amino group that I'm in. But anyways, they're just social media platforms and I go and I'll make a post and share about my videos or I'll respond to somebody and say, hey, you should check out this video I made if you want information on that, that kind of a thing. So I'm going to share twice a week to face on Facebook groups, twice a week in Amino. So I can kind of just track that here. And then it's just blank pages and we get to my notes. Again, I have another vellum. I just found these images like literally doing a Google search and printed them out on vellum. And in here I've just got lots of notes. So I've got some scripts and video topics. So once those ideas are kind of flushed out, then I write them in here about what I want to, you know, actually make a video about. And when they're done, I check them off and write the date. And I have a couple of looking ahead type calendars. So I, these are just my rough and dirty calendars where I kind of play with what do I want to upload? What do I want to say? So right now is my YouTube planner video. That's today on Saturday the 26th. And then next week I want to do a Wheel of the Year video. And back on the 23rd, I posted the video about why my puppy makes me a better witch. So we kind of have all of these. I have one for January as well because I need to sort of flush out what I want to do there. And then just more scripts. Then we get to my spirit section. So I'm not going to show you my name. Uh, Taya is a short form of my full um, craft name that I don't really share with anybody. And then again, it has these um, calendars, these perpetual calendars. So I am going to track gratitude in here. So starting January 1st, every day I'm just going to pop in here at probably the end of the day and just write in a single, what am I grateful for? So by the end of the year here, I will have all these pages full of gratitude, which I think would be pretty special. And then we get to January. So I do have here a little insert that goes through all the different planet signs, the aspect annotations, and the signs for all the different um, astrological, um, what are those called? You know, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, all that. Um, so just so that when I'm... Uh, I can go and write them in here. I can write in my actual like conjunctions and stuff like that that I want to keep track of. And then I've got these stickers. So when you see this sticker, I had um, an astrological reading or an astrological reading. I had my astrology done by a local girl here in Edmonton. Oop, bump the camera, sorry. And she gave me a whole year ahead of readings for these are sp specific days that you might want to take note of so every day that she's given me I make a note so I know to go and check to go and check her notes and, and read what was special for me that day I have the moons the moon phases one two three four including the full the full moon and the new moon and then these little guys here the triangle ones are because I have these beautiful spirit daughter workbooks in the back which I'll show you for the new moon and the full moon and these will tell me to go and check for information in those booklets. Um, as well as typically there is an astrological month ahead reading in them. There wasn't one for January for Capricorn season. So I'm hoping that was just a, a glitch on that one month. And then that's where I'll write in all those different conjunctions and something trying this and all kinds of information about ast astrological happenings. And then this is my actual spirit planner. So this is a monthly layout. So it has this big section here, which is um, 
like an overview of what is coming with the whole month. And then each week has a section of check boxes to use. So this is the overall. So I have the three R's at the top. It's like a little currently section, reading, researching, and resonating. And I will kind of keep notes as I go through the month there on what I'm reading, um, what I'm researching, and what's resonating with me. Because, you know, sometimes you read stuff and you're like, oh, um, that's interesting. And other times you read it and you're like, oh, my goodness, yes, this is so fascinating. So I want to make sure I keep notes of that. I have a little to-do section where I can list out just things that I need to do. If there's something, you know, sometimes you're reading and you're like, oh, they make mention of something and you think, oh, that would be interesting to research. I can just make a little note. Okay, in my to-dos, you know, read read more about Kabbalah. Um, then as well, you know, maybe there's a working I want to do this month or so a spell I need. Then this is where I can just keep track so I remember to do it. On the side, there's some trackers. So time I've spent reading, I want to track that. I want to figure out how much, you know, how many days a month am I actually sitting down and reading towards my craft time spent at the altar and charging time I have a it's like a sigil box that I, I charge at least once a week if not more um so how many times like how many days a month am I actually charging that box because I need to make sure I keep that up and then down at the bottom here there's a little section for the new moon and the full moon where I'm going to actually write in all their information for the month um, the sign that they're occurring in, um, the date, if it's an eclipse, that kind of stuff. On the other side, I'm going to do a month ahead. So just like I do a week ahead reading, I'm going to do a month ahead reading. Again, with past, present, future, far future, and overall. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to come back, and there's just a section here to do a monthly review. Um, like, how was my month? Did I, you know, accomplish what I wanted to? What do I need to take forward to the next month? What did I learn? What am I taking with me? And then we get into these dailies. This is where I need your help, you guys. So, they are daily. Um, it's, it's supposed to be like a, a task list. Now, I'm not going to use that that way. I'm just going to use it as a set of lines to journal something each day. So, I was thinking. So, you just I'll write in the date on the top line. And then I've got the following lines to do like Monday, January 1st. What am I going to write about? Um... Okay, I've got a horoscope app, so I could, like, copy out my daily horoscope and sort of, you know, do a mini journal on that. I have, a, it's called Sage app, and they have, like, a daily sort of a ritual, so I could do a daily, you know, I could kind of do a little journal on a daily ritual. Um, I could do a daily intention, daily affirmations, or I'm looking for, what I would really like is to have, like, a day like a, a page a day calendar, like a pagan page a day calendar. Do you guys know of anything like that? If you do, pop it in the comments for me. I'm having a real hard time finding anything, but I would really, really like to have like a page a day sort of thing. This is where I do sort of envy the Christians. They have the Bible and you know, people do the verse a day. Um, they do Bible study, all that kind of stuff. And we, and some traditions might have, you know, actual written doctrine, but for the most part, we don't. And so it makes it a little harder to do like a, a focused study. So anyways, if you guys can, if you can think of any like page a day calendars or any, you know, written doctrine that you think would be really good to do like a daily, you know, pull a verse a day sort of study, let me know because I'm really looking for something to fill that up by, you know, January the 1st, no pressure. And then after this, where they have um, a little section for every day. We have these notes pages. So this one I'm going to do new moon. So every new moon in my sigil box, I create a new sigil for a new section I want to focus on. So basically the, the box, the overall sigil is I live my best life. And then each new moon, based on the worksheets that I do, I create a new sigil to add to the I live my best life. So last month was I share my voice. Um, in these new moon workbooks, there's a whole series of exercises that you go through. And by the end of it, you kind of usually have some type of an affirmation or intention that you've set. And so I sigilize that. So this is where I'll actually work out the sigil and do all that. I don't have anything yet for the full moon, but I want to do something similar have sort of some ongoing practice that I can keep adding to for the full moon so that I'm working on. I'll work through that when I do my next full moon workbook and develop something like that. 
And then on the back, there's a notes page. So if there is like a major Sabbath or something during the month, then I might just go ahead and use this back page to journal about that. Right. And then that ends. We just go to the next month. So then I have my witchcraft, my spirit section notes in here. Again, just another vellum that I've created myself. I have my wheel of the year. So this is my wheel of the year for 2020. I just did the eight Sabbaths. I've kind of blown it out for 2021 and I've actually gone by the 12 months. So I'm almost done. Oh, sorry guys. I keep bumping that camera. That's really annoying. Um, I do uh, 12 months and the only thing I have left to add to this is um, some ancestral death dates that I wanted to make sure that I observe in here. And then my wheel will be done. I think I'll do a separate video on my wheel of the year because I just think that would be really, um, I think that would be interesting to show you guys how I developed that. Then I have my tarot readings or their oracle readings. That's what I've been working with lately. That's what I've been sort of feeling, feeling into the most is my new oracle deck or newer. So I just keep all my readings in here. You'll see this is the same. I just cut this out to do my month ahead reading. So um, I just keep track of them in here. Then I have this beautiful full moon divider and I have, this is the new handout for the Cancer full moon. And again, they're the spirit, um, a spirit daughter workbook by Jill Winterstein. And yeah, what can I tell you? It just goes through a bunch of different information about the full moon. Um, all kinds of interesting things. They do house scopes. So because it's a full moon in cancer, I'm cancer in the 12th house. So here's this down here is my specific little house scope for the month or for the full moon. Uh, lunar flow is yoga. They have meditations. They have a ritual set up. They have a card reading, which I usually will do for the, uh, for that full moon period. And then they have all of these. So this month is all about self-care. So do you feel you deserve self-care? What is self-care to you? What does it feel like when you're depleted? How do you feel when you take care of yourself and your needs? And it really just goes through until you come to the end and it's like right below the, in, the vibration or frequency of the stories you just wrote and the energies they create within you daily. And what you're going to do is you're going to release all of the, the negative stuff and really build on the good stuff. And you'll you come out of it creating some uh, three to five affirmations to take into the, you know, to use until the next full moon. And then they have the new moon ones. So again, it is, this is for Capricorn because we just entered Capricorn. So it's a Capricorn season and the new moon. Again, by Jill Winterstein, a Spirit Daughter workbook. And they talked about solstice. Then they talked about the Jupiter and Saturn conjunction. Uh, they have a place to set some New Year affirmations. And then information about Capri Capricorn, your moon scopes. So I'm a Leo moon. So here's, this is my little one for the month. Um, certain, you know, crystals that go with this new moon. A meditation, yoga, aligning the spirit. Um, your, if Capricorn is in whichever house, so mine is in the sixth house, this is what you want to focus on for this new moon. And then they talk about the new moon itself. Capricorn and the new moon. Setting up for magic, so again, ritual set up. And then journaling questions. So how can you create space in your life to hear your soul? What daily routine can you commit to that helps ground you, bring focus, and manifest your intentions? What are some boundaries you can create around your distractions to help keep you focused? And what reminder can you tell yourself when things seem challenging that will help you continue your journey and remind you of your inherent strength? And then we get into intention setting. So you kind of actually will... Um, you write out a whole script about what you want your life to look like. Um, personal signs. So if Capricorn is your sun or your moon sign, which it's not for me. Um, and then usually after this, there is astrological month ahead forecast, which she didn't have this month. So I'm really hoping it was just this month because it had all the extra information at the front about, um, about the Jupiter and Saturn conjunction and the solstice that took up extra pages so I'm just hoping that it was just this month and that she'll bring it back next month and then just some pen test page so that is my witchy planner for 2021 um do you have a witchy planner um have you shared yours I'd love to see it and uh yeah 
If you have questions, drop them down below. Otherwise, if you like this kind of content, make sure you give this video a like because I'd like to do more. Maybe once I get this filled in a little bit, I'll check in with you guys and let you know how it's going. It's kind of ambitious, but I'm hoping it'll really help me stay on track of my life and my YouTube stuff and my witchcraft practice heading into the new year. So thanks for hanging out and we'll check you in the next one. See you guys.